Good morning, Quadcopter 101, and what I got for you today is a review of an interesting little drone. This is the um, F21W Aiello. Okay, um, you may have seen a previous review that I did of the F31G uh, that was very similar to this. It looked exactly the same. However, the F31G had optical flow in its belly. This one here is the lower end version. Hopefully, it's the cheaper version also that does not have optical flow. It's just simply an altitude hold uh, Wi-Fi FPV, FPV flyer. Um, and, and in fact, its camera, I believe, is, well, it's 720p camera, uh, 200W. I think it's, uh, what do you call that, one megapixel? I forgot. <laughs> but, you know, it's not a high-resolution camera. Uh, don't expect very good video. And uh, along with that, very good FPV video either. Um, this is more, you know, a fun-to-fly, learn-to-fly drone. It does not have the optical flow capability, so you are going to need to fly this manually. Um, I am going to be focusing on that, mainly on that. I'll uh, show some examples of its camera. I don't expect its camera to be very good. In fact, I did not even bring my connector to attach the camera to this. There is a connector, uh, but I'm going to put the camera on the ground, and we're going to mainly fly it line of sight so you can see it up close, because it is a good-looking little drone. Now, it's funny, you know, that... <laughs> Again, this looks a lot like the Rise Tello, but it is not, of course. And it does not have all any of those features of the Rise Tello. It's just a, a toy drone, learn-to-fly drone, uh, that kind of looks like a Tello. Let's go over the controls for it. Um, you know, this is your throttle. This is your, your yaw, pitch, roll. This is your rates for changing beginner, intermediate, expert. This is your flip button. It does have flip capability by pressing this. These buttons are all well labeled. This is uh, headless mode and one key return. This is your photo button and your video button. And you can hold down this to start and stop videos. Um, you can start the motors, put them into uh, idle by pressing this button here, and, and also do a landing by holding down this button. And emergency stop is right there in case you land into a tree. That's a pot hit, folks. Very basic little drone. Let's send it up and see how it performs. So I hope you enjoy this flight. And here's the on-off button, by the way, right there. It's kind of hard to see, but the lights are flashing. And we are going to bind it to the transmitter. And see if we can start the motors down or not. No, you got to start it by doing it like such. Okay, let me try that landing button. And after this, I'm going to hook it up to my um, Wi-Fi. And so we can get the camera view also. So hold on, folks. Okay, this is the Florald app, <laughs> F-L-O-R-L-D, uh, available on Google Play and iTunes. We're going to hit free flight, or click and select free flight. And actually, I want to close this since we're flying with this, but I do want to record video. Video is recording. So this is the FPV video that we'll see from this. And I'll put the phone right there. And let's try that takeoff again. And let's trim it up a bit. Forward, right, because there's no wind right now. <laughs> there we go. That's what these trip buttons are for, folks, in case you didn't know. <laughs> you can get it to hover if there's no wind. So let's go up a bit. I'll get into the picture, say, how do you like my shirt today, folks, if it is showing up? <laughs> and bring it by us. It is a good-looking little drone. Neat little thing. Going up a bit higher. And bringing it over. It flies very nicely. So I, I think that's the idea of this one here. You know, if you want a sport flyer, a learn-to-fly drone, this should be cheaper than the F31G since it does not have optical flow. But let's try its camera out in case it is recording well. We'll go up and do a rotate about the area. Uh, that's the area, and there's the trees. We don't want to go into the trees. So coming back down. We'll go up a bit higher this time. Going upwind. Where's the rates? There's high rate. That's high rate. We'll go up a bit higher. Right about there. And rotate. Oh, that's high rate rotate. <laughs> okay, coming back down. Again, the camera on this isn't something to brag about. It's, this is mainly a learn to fly. Got crazy yaw and high rate. 
Go an intermediate rate. Bringing it down slowly. Very easy to fly, but doesn't have that optical flow like it's uh, big brother the 31G does. How about flips in that? Let's take it up a bit higher for the flips. Since, by the way, this has prop guards that can't be removed. <laughs> Unremovable <laughs> prop guards. So the prop guards are always with it, and we, if you get any wind, that can be a problem. But let's hit, try flip. Oh, it does flips very nicely. Let's come back down and try that. Forward. Back. So it's a very good flipper. It's just not super fast. <laughs> Highest straight. Going downwind. Coming upwind. Again, those prop guards can be somewhat of a sail. <laughs> so we'll go up this way now. I like how, um, you know, I, I did the F-31G and I got this in the mail and I said, well, <laughs> this is a F-21W. It looks like just like the F-31G. You know, I get disappointed every once in a while. Every once in a while, um, they rename a drone. And I have to do two reviews for the same drone because there's two different uh, vendors selling it under two different names. Now, that's what I thought was the problem with this one. Uh, but it's not. It's a completely different drone. It's not the F-31G. It's the same shape as the F-31G, but it doesn't have that optical flow capability. With that in mind, this does have... I think it has dance capability. Hold on. Or maybe that's a different drone I'm thinking of. Let's see what else it has. Let's see if we can fly it with the app. Okay. I rebooted. Or I didn't reboot it. I just switched modes. But it's it turned... Its altitude hold is working, but I don't know where it's going. Do I got con yeah, I got control. But I think it is in headless mode right now. What I want to do is go to gyro sensor. Yeah, that's not doesn't seem to be working. So we're going up this way. Uh, try gyro sensor control. Turn that off. Let's go to higher rate too. I don't know why I have to switch backwards, but to control it. Okay. Um, going back up again. Camera is recording. Getting into the screen. Saying how do you like my shirt? And uh, let us try. Oh, I press that blue button and, I, and it turns. Oh, you know what? This is selfie mode. There you go. That's selfie mode. <laughs> okay, let's do selfie mode. What that means is, folks, the back becomes the front and the front becomes the back. And, the re and why would you use this? To take selfies. To take selfies. If you can get used to the front being the back and the back being the front... Okay, there we go. So let's go back up a bit higher in selfie mode. <laughs> Again, the back is the front and the front is the back when you click selfie mode. And that confused me there for a second there. I remember this now. Let's see if I can take a photo. Let's stop the video. Try a photo. Photo again. Photo again. And then going back to video. Now let's try draw mode. Drawing. This is waypoint mode. It does have waypoint feature. I'm trying it here. If I draw left, right, forward. <laughs> it does this weird little dance here. Okay, let's turn that off. And uh, I don't know what else to try here. Let's, I want to see how much flight time we can get out of it. We're probably getting low right now. 
was looking for headless mode. I think that's headless mode there. That's probably the headless mode direction there. Yep. I'm going to go up higher. I don't want it to crash in the sand. Let's come out of that headless mode, if that was headless mode indeed. <laughs> go up a bit higher. Oh, there we go. That's the end of its flight time. So that's the little a yellow. So I hope you enjoyed this flight. J21W or F21W I yellow. Hope you enjoyed this flight. It's quite Cup to 101. Signing out.